Hello, today is gonna be just a quick video and I'm gonna show you how I make um, really easy and fast and inexpensive and healthy <laughs> roast beef for roast beef sandwiches. I slice it really thin and it is cheaper than deli meat and it's more healthy too because it doesn't have all the stuff added in. So I'm just gonna show you really quickly how we do this and um, then I'll slice it up and we'll be using it for sandwiches. Okay, so my son Lawrence is actually in charge of this part and he does it for me every time. So this has already been done, but basically you salt and pepper um, all sides of the roast and then you wrap it in plastic wrap and you let it sit for at least four hours, but this was actually overnight. And then you just take the plastic wrap off. Now this is a bottom round roast. Um, I also use top round. It basically depends on what I can get um, for the cheapest and what looks like the size that I want to use. So this one was the perfect size. And um, sometimes it's called rump roast in the store, but it's basically, it's basically the roast that you need to um, to cook for less time. So like a chuck roast, that needs to be cooked for most of the day basically to get it nice and tender. But your top and your, okay, move your hand, honey. The top and the bottom round roast, um, you don't wanna cook it until it's well done. You wanna cook it, I would say, to medium temperature at the highest and then slice it really thin and it comes out nice and tender for sandwiches. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my 300 degree oven and I'm going to start it for 45 minutes and then I'm going to take it out and check the time um, or not the time to check the temperature. And once it gets to the temperature that I want, it's done and I can let it rest and then slice it up thinly. Okay. It is, it hasn't been quite 45 minutes yet, but we're smelling the roast beef and it smells really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and check the temperature and see if it's ready because I don't want to overcook it. Yes, Hosanna, it may be the chicken. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Yes, please. Okay, so I'm shooting to get it between 130 and 140. Okay, that's 110. That's 127. That's 118. Okay, so it does need some more time. Hosanna just pointed out to me that the smell was probably the chicken that I have in the crock pot and not the roast beef. So she's probably right. I'm going to put it back in for about 10 more minutes. Okay, I am, as you can see, starting off myself slicing this as thinly as I can with the knife. Um, this method obviously has its flaws. It's hard to get it uniformly thin throughout, but you know, if all you have is a knife, I mean, that's how I used to always do it. Um, you know, it's, <laughs> it's not perfect, but it gets the job done. It just takes a little bit of time and a little bit of Albert elbow grease. So you can see I'm leaving the fat on the top of this roast. You don't have to do that. You can trim that off. And if you trim it off, you'll actually have a very lean product. Um, because top round and bottom round are both very, very lean cuts of beef. My teenagers actually prefer the fat to be left on. They like the extra flavor that it provides. So that's why I'm doing it this way. So I'm just slicing, slicing, slicing as thin as I can. Um, you know, in trying to get it done as quickly as possible. And, you know, sometimes I have to go back and slice a little bit more. So my husband actually came up with this ingenious, um, way of slicing the beef. So what he actually does, he figured this out while I was sick a few weeks ago. Um, what he does is he sticks the roast after it's been cooked in the freezer and he freezes it for at least an hour so that it's nice and firm. And then he uses the mandolin and slices it. And this makes it ultra thin, which is fantastic, especially if you're gonna be putting this on sandwiches because you end up, it looks, I mean, obviously you still have the same exact weight that you had before, 
but it actually ends up looking like you have more. So this is just an ingenious method that he came up with and he volunteered to do the rest of it this way. I didn't even know that he did this last time, but apparently he told me while I was sick and I just didn't even notice. So he is trying to safely get that last chunk of beef um, sliced and he did it. So thank you so much, Ryan, for your help there.